Welcome to a video about Visual Studio, Visual Basic. In this tutorial, this video tutorial, what we are looking at is how to create a chart. But we are going to create this chart manually. We are going to create some columns and rows. We are going to create a button and we are going to uh, open a chart and make it work. To begin with, I just want to remind you that I have a folder and in this folder I have another subfolder where I save all my files. All right? And these files is basically what you have to think is that Visual Basic creates a package and this is why it's important to always save the file in the same spot. Do not save it in any other spot than the folder you have created. So let's create our new project. Make sure you are using Visual Basic. Make sure you are using your Windows Forms app. Here is the folder where I will say, save my new project. And what we are doing today is we are looking, we are making charts and columns. All right. So click OK to save to save the project. And we are ready to start. As you're aware, we're creating a form, we're using a form to create our chart. What we're going to do is create some columns here, some rows down. The rows is because of the student's name. We will create a button and here will be our chart. The first thing that we need to do is we need to label we need to label our columns. So we'll go under label here and we'll deal with all the labels straight away. So the first label will be here and this label will be student names. The next label will come a little bit further away and this label will be reading. The next label will be writing the next label will be speaking and the next the final label will be listening now these ones are okay this one is better oh, no we don't want to go there so I'm going to move this one down so they're all in line and we're ready to create our text boxes. So the way we're going to create our columns and rows is by using text box. So we need to put a text box for the name of the student. Then we simply need to take a text box for the reading score. It's a little bit too long but we're dealing with numbers so it doesn't need to be that long. We'll reduce this one as well. All right and for the visual um, look I'm using these lines that Visual Basic provides me with to ensure that the configuration is fine. So here we, have, we will have a student name there, the reading score, the writing score, the speaking and listening score. But of course, we will have more than one student. So we will do the same. I'll resize this. Now I'm doing this manually because what I want to, you to understand is that the order of the box will help you to create your coding a lot better. And I will show you this right now. As you can see here, in this panel here, the properties panel, the name of our code is textbox1. So we will call it txtvx1. Now when I come here, you see it's textbox2 and this is why it's important because the boxes need to follow one another. Typing 
and uh, the spelling of your codes is also very important well there are two properties so we'll cancel that this is text box 4 and the last one right which means that this is text box 6 7 and the last one which is txt so all my boxes are exactly labeled the same way and they follow a particular order sequence from 1 to 5 from 6 to 10 now of course if I had more students 20 or 15 students then I would add obviously more columns uh, sorry more rows okay but for the point of this exercise we will now proceed to the button so button starts with a B so we will go to button and we will create our button and we will put it here right now we'll put a fairly large button there's only one button but we'll still rename it ptn1 and the name that we give this button is show chart all right so we have our columns and rows we have our button and now we're ready to have the chart so the chart is under data so we will scroll down all the way to data here we are and here is chart which we will put here thank you all right so what we're going to tell the program is that we're going to input some information here we're going to click on show chart and when we click on that this information this numerical information will transform into a graph or a chart which is more visual all right so obviously because the action is happening under show chart on the button then we need to click on the button to uh, make the operation occur so I like to have a little bit of space when I write my code so we'll come here the first thing we do is we tell the program that we are dealing with charts all right and as per the previous lesson we want the chart to be clear when we start using it the next thing that we say is that we now have reading writing speaking and listening so we need to give a name for these labels so here we're going to say reading the next one is Now I'm going to make a mistake for you at the end so you can see the difference. Okay. And the last one. going to spell the word speaking um, I will put a spelling mistake in speaking I will just leave the A we're missing the E right so you can see what happens with the error so this is what I've done I've said okay now we have these labels in the series section so we are so we know what we are looking at when we look at the chart next we start informing the program that we want the information from reading to be transferred over to our chart now don't forget there's an S at points and this information should be transferred over to the 
x and y axis. So what we've done is we've said to the software or the program, look, we are taking the information for reading and this information is the name of the students first and then the value they have for the reading score, right? We can then copy this, all right? I could easily type it. We will control C and control V. And what happens is that it's exactly the same thing. But now we're saying we are using the next student, which starts at text box six. And obviously we want the score for reading, which should be in text box 7, right? Okay. Give space. Now, I could copy this again, but I'm going to type it out. Chart1.series. And now we're dealing with writing. And where you say we're saying to the program that for the point that to find the points for the and add them to the x and y axis. And where will you form, find this information? Well, first of all, you need the name, which you will receive retrieve from text box one, and you need to retrieve the value, which you can find on three, right? After two comes three. All right. Now I can do the same. I can cut, copy, and paste. Control C. And here it's writing, but this is the next student, and the next student is text box six. And after seven comes eight, so we will change this to eight. Oh, not eighty-three, but eight. Oh, the X is missing. So you have to. Be careful about your spelling and obviously the codes that you are using. The next one is listening. We need to find the points. And with these points, we need to add them to the x and y axis. And here we say this is students 1, so it's text box 1. Oh, not 3, but 1. And the value can be find, found in txt px4, which is the next box in line, and text. Again, I can copy this. Okay, and this is the next student, so the next student is in text box 6, and we have 7, 8. Obviously, the next number is 9. Right? Now, what I can do is copy both of these lines. Control C, Control V. Now, what I need here is speaking, right? Now, this time, I will not make a spelling mistake text box one which is the student and we will find that information in text box five and we change this word to speaking and we will find the student text box six and that information the school will come from text box ten all right so we're ready to go so let's click start So here we are, our chart, our form is ready, we have the students' names here, the columns for reading, writing, speaking and listening, we have our button, and we have the area for the chart. So let's type in some names and some data. Next students.
all right then we click on chart and an error happened okay so before we can actually fix this problem see is he is backing and he is speaking so if i try to write here the e oh, i can all right first i will um stop that and i will put speaking and then I will be ready to start again. My form will appear. I have fixed speaking S P A K I N G S P A K I N G there. So let's start again. Oh, sorry about that. All right, the scores are there. We click on show chart and this is the chart appears. So we need, first of all, we need to really pay attention to the spelling and the actual uh, location of points, um, spelling of points with an S. Then we need to really make sure that we know the labels for each of our boxes. You see, because of my boxes here, my column for the names is the same, box one, box six, it's always the same for this particular uh, columns and the values because I'm using one, uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's easy for me to remember that it should be two, three, four, and five for student one. And then because it's six, then it becomes seven, eight, nine, ten for student two. So it should be easy for me to remember seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the next thing is, as you can see, Sam is an English student. Mike is here. Blue is reading, which is 78, which is about right. Orange is writing, which is 67. 60 is here, 67. Low score for listening of 56. And then a high score for speaking of 89, which is about right. So here is how we create a chart with multiple items for a group of students using Visual Basic. I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.